against you right now. But okay, timer's gonna go ahead and start now. Boop. Okay, so we see Matrix go in first. Uh, pretty sure they're just on the pure Snake Eye deck. So far, we've had each round go to time. But now we're in top four, so like, it's gonna be a lot harder for it to go to time again. Activate Bonfire. And then that'll go ahead and search out for Poplar. Huh? We start with Bonfire for Poplar. In Chodrasting. Okay, so they have like Oak. Oak in hand. Activate Poplar effect now. Go search. Mm -hmm. Grab out the Divine Temple. That's fine, sure. Now, can Cerbero break the board? Last time, last time, they didn't even have to break the board because time came. This time, they're going to have to break the board. So, Spell Trap Zone, Poplar, Summon Out, Black Witch, Effect, go set the original. And then, yep, that'll go ahead, go through, sure. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Are we not setting original? Okay. <laughs> not to say, yeah, bro, I'm not gonna lie. Some Snake Eye players be taking 47 and a half years to go through the first turn as if they haven't done it a thousand times already. Like, it's actually crazy. Like, I'm not, I mean, Pure Snake Eye is definitely harder than, like, Fire King Snake Eye. But like, I'm not gonna lie, they, they, do, they do be taking forever. So they're gonna go ahead, original, and send Link Karibo, go summon. Set lagging, me too, is DB. I don't know, it's, it's kind of crazy because everyone always says they lag on DB. I like never lag on DB, it feels like. It feels like it's pretty rare. Sometimes when I'm streaming, but that's not DB, that's, that's more on like my end of it. I think a lot of people don't use the HTML5. Which is just like the worst DB if you don't use that. But okay, they're gonna go ahead summon Savage, Effect, bring out Link Karibo. Is that Midwest internet? Now, nah, I mean, this they, they live in Europe. They live in Europe. That's Europe internet. We we got we got like working. Okay, yeah. So they, they do have Oak. Yup. I mean, it was like kind of an easy read because of how they started with Bonfire and the Poplar. Cause if he had Stink Eye Ash, he would start with Snake Eye Ash, get hit with Imperm and then Bonfire. Uh, I guess they could have also had like a Jet Synchron to have played that differently. But then they probably would have played that completely differently. Cause you can go like Poplar, Search, make Link Creep. Uh, actually, I don't know how different you would actually end up playing that. It'd probably just end up being like roughly the same anyways. But they're gonna go ahead, send special summon out, Snake Eye Ash. New chain link, Flame Burge Ash. Go search summon back out. Is it Swiss or Top? This is the top four right now. We have Cerbero on the Pearly Sprite deck. They've been playing it for a while now. And they are going up against Matrix on the Pure Snake Eye deck. They also play Birch in their deck. Like nobody plays that card anymore, so you know. Do -do -do. Taking notes. Summon out Oak. Summon out Jut. Then this is just like, you know, standard from here. IP, Princess, Flame Burge. And then you can go ahead. Ash Send. Just summon out from the deck. Well, I guess you don't summon back out Flame Burge. But Ash is going to summon out Flame Burge. Princess can summon... Back out of level one, or we can start with formula. Sure, 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 that's fine. And then we know that they have Birch in hand two as an extender. Said no, in hand something. They know Birch. Uh, never said so never mind. Realized I can't read. Nah, nah, you're good. You're good. I, I, I don't be reading people's stream titles either. I can't lie. Like, I'll, I'll be joining a stream, and I just will be like, yo, what is this? And they're like, bro, can't you read? And it's like, yeah, my bad. <laughs> the special Birch. Birch plus IP now. 
Okay. Yeah, I'll go for Princess. It's kind of... Okay, I guess we'll find out why they played it like this. Princess summon back out from the graveyard. Yeah, so we're gonna bring out Flame Burge. Flame Burge effect to go ahead, spell Trap Zone. IP. Yeah. Yo, Matrix is playing this mad weird, I'm not gonna lie. We could have princessed someone back out a level. We could have just not made formula, right? Could have just. We had the four bodies the jet, the oak, the poplar, the ash. We could just go IP, princess, summon back out poplar, snake eye ash, send itself, plus like link karibo, bring out flame brood, or send itself plus princess, bring out flame brood, jet synchron, discard, special summon out, make formula. And then we wouldn't even have to have used Birch. We could discard Birch for the Jet Synchron instead. And then that would have been pretty good. Uh, and then, like, yeah. And you have, like, Savage, Baron, IP, Princess and Grave. Well, now we're going to go Jet, Discard, and Nahida. Okay. I mean, this is also fine, right? Like, we get to make Appalooza this way. Celine, Celine. Special summon back out, and then make Apo. Okay, and I guess it's even more fine because we know the matchup, so Rock isn't that good. I feel like there had to have been a way to do this better anyhow, right? Because we could have actually... I don't know, if, I don't even want to link off Flame Bridge though. Like the follow up off that's so nice, but we do have original and graveyard. I'm gonna see it because we could divine temple summon out IP, then we could have got rid of this, and then we would have formula on field to make Baron. So you have like Savage Baron, IP, Apo, but then Princess isn't live. No, okay, I think this is fine. Pretty discard Pearly, go summon, bring out the Pearly, and then activate Pearly effect. To go search. And then that's gonna try to grab out. And then I'm gonna play two pearly, two pearly, so one of the pearly's already in graveyard. Even like Dinkon fam, he's only playing two pearly, two pearly, and he plays pure pearly. Kinda wild, kinda wild. Uh, but I guess, I mean, you do have trap to put back if you can get to that. Uh, so they're gonna Appalooza the pearly effect to go search. Yeah, not just creating a nimble angler this time to chain block, summon out few bodies. So now per lily effect to go upgrade. And then, I mean, you're probably just going to apple lose that again. Yeah, I was going to say otherwise they go for beauty and then beauty can stop apple. Uh, now they're going to make anima and then anima effect to go take apple, which is fine. That card does nothing. It's just a big zero body at this point that could make a world see next turn if it stayed i shot the crazy dude 36 for the follow thank you thank you okay normal summons out beaver and then beaver chain link one ah uh, i want to say divine temple chain link two i guess flame burst chain link two not divine temple ah uh, Okay, we do use Divine Temple. Sure. I guess it's like fine, because like our Link Kribo is stuck under this. Otherwise, you could do it a little bit different, which I don't think it'd matter. Oh, okay. We're going to Valor the Beaver there. Oh, 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 okay. Sure, sure, sure. So summons out IP and then activates IP effect. So now, IP plus the Flame Burge. Yeah, see, you could have used Flame Burge and just held this in case if the Poplar ends up spell trap zoning. Okay, we're going to go SP, Banish Beaver. And then, yeah, Banish is Beaver. They do play the Sprite cards in their deck, so getting the level 2 off field is more important than getting the extra deck monster for the SP off field. I agree with that. 
Summons back out. Oak, Ash. Ash, search. Oak, summon back out. Mm-hmm. So, bring out, search. Also, when should I host a post-L-E-D-E -E tourney? Should, should I host one soon? Would y'all be interested in that? Or should I keep hosting, uh... Post, yeah, Post Phantom Nightmare. I, I forgot I forgot the set's name for a second. Okay, or should I keep hosting Post Phantom Nightmare tourneys? So I feel like not too many people have tested LEDE -E yet. We want LEDE -E content, Pog. Yeah, it's just rough, because I feel like nobody's played that format yet. Or, like, almost nobody. Almost nobody. Like, I know I could get, like, GG Jibriel in there. Maybe, like, Lund. But, like, other than those two specifically, like, I, I don't know any people that, have, like, actually played the format. Just because, like, there's still YCSs for this format. I guess Europeans. I bet you Europeans have tested that format a bunch. Because their format's dead. Except if you're going for world's points. Then it's not dead. But, okay, they're going to princess on that summon they admit defeat. Uh, keep with Phantom Nightmare, honestly. When you test super early, everyone gets sick of the format, in my opinion. I don't know. Everyone says that, but, like, nah, that's not, that's, like, not it for me. I think it's fun. Like, I'm, the only reason I'm even, like, somewhat sick of this format is because, like, you just check hand traps first. But, like, to be fair, you could have a lot more fun with this format if you just played the going second cards. Like, cut the hand traps from your deck, put in the going second cards... You're going to have tons of fun with the format still. Because then you're just trying to like push through the end boards every single time. Which is fun. But I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Like. I think it's fine to test it really. Especially for like LEDE. Because like that's going to be YCS Indie. And Nats format. And it's going to be Nats format for like. Every other country too. I don't. I don't think there's any nationals before May. There might be. Might be. Uh, Grinder. When does the TCG ban list drop? We all know. You know people at Konami. God yes. Uh, I don't know. Pro probably. Like I mean, probably April. I, I would say April at some point. Whether that's the whether it's the beginning of April or the end of April. I don't know. Activate inscription. Now your player can special summon monsters from the graveyards now. This card's so clean. April. Y'all heard it here first. Yeah, I mean, if it doesn't drop in April, that's actually crazy. That's actually bonkers if it doesn't. That'd be insane. But I'm also not gonna, like... Um, I'm not gonna be one of those people that talk about the ban list every single day. I see that all the time on Twitter. Like, if the ban list hasn't dropped yet it's either gonna drop like the beginning of next week or it's not gonna drop until after ycs i think it'll be minor this time i got i got no idea konami doesn't know how to make a ban list we we saw the ocg ban list we saw sp little guy go down to two sp little knight went to two bro what is that hit for what is that hit for who was playing three are they stupid Yes. <laughs> yes. It, their ban list makes no sense. So, Konami's actually just dumb. I don't know what to say about it. I really expect it to drop around now, but honestly can't say too much about the ban list. Master Duel ban list. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't think the ban list was going to drop yet. I thought maybe it would have dropped Tuesday and then gone into effect on Monday. But... Like, I can't... People are like, oh, the ban list needs to drop today, but I don't know. Like, there, there is a YCS tomorrow. I think a lot of people forget about that. There is just simply a YCS in under 24 hours. Like, 24 hours from now, they're going to be, like, what, round 5, round 6 of the YCS? What YCS tomorrow? I had no clue. So, I'm saying, I, a lot of people don't even know, but it's South America. It's the Colombia YCS. But, okay, that's gonna go through now. Said no end Konami might actually drop during the YCS. I hope it doesn't. Those are the, that was so bad. It was actually so, it was so bad. It was so bad. It was so bad. It was so bad. Our, like, round three banless drop during YCS Philly last year, right? Yeah, but that's so ass. Like, round three people, I would summon Mindhacker and the opponent's like, or I don't know if it was round three, but one of the rounds, it'd just be like, 
ha ha ha, you know that card's banned, right? Ha ha ha, and I'm like, yeah, man. Yeah, bro. You, you got you got some nice jokes, bro. I can't lie. Got some nice jokes. <laughs> it's just so sick and tired of hearing it. Oh my gosh. And then also the deck profile has been nothing for that event. Which sucked. Which sucked because Patrick Hoban had such a cool deck list. Patrick Hoban's deck list was fire. That was the only deck list I thought that was like super cool from that event. I think only the Super Heavy Samurai deck list were cool. There was another one. I think they got top eight. But the Patrick Hoban deck list was actually fire. His combo was broken. I was actually convinced, after watching that deck profile, I was convinced that was the best choice for the event by a mile. The fact that you could gimmick puppet the opponent through shifter, I'm sold. I'm sold. I'm sold. That's all I needed to see. That's all I needed to see. Because I saw him playing in, uh, I think it was top 32. And I was like, oh, okay, that's sick. But then I saw the deck profile, I saw the combo through shifter, I was sold. Puppet through shifter? Yup, yup, puppet through shifter was crazy. You got to, you made Sanctify, like Cyberstein for Sanctifier, you made Omega, and then Omega during their standby phase put the shift, or put the gimmick puppet in the graveyard, and then Sanctifier summoned puppet to their field, shifter to your field, and he puppeted them through shifter, that deck was broken. <laughs> Oh, is this the Hoban Manadium deck? No, no, that was the Hoban Super Heavy Samurai deck from YCS Philly 2023. It's a cool deck, though. I cannot lie. I cannot lie. Oh, this is just game. <laughs> yeah, we got a bear in the gate set up. We got original going through. Well, I guess it's not game, right? It's not game right away because they are under a floodgate right now. They can't special summon from graveyards. Okay, okay, so it's not game yet, but... They are getting hit with uh, a five-card combo, which is pretty good. Go Poplar, Poplar, grab out Divine Temple, sure, sure. I mean, this is actually just pretty good, even without being able to special summon from the graveyard. This is still huge. Said, ah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think that combo is legal in Master Duel, though. I'm pretty sure they banned Cyberstein. Actually, did they? I actually don't even know. I know that was legal during tier format. But I don't know if it's legal now. They did, I believe. Yeah, that's fair. It was pretty toxic. I bet you, I bet you tons of stun decks were playing it too. Knowing Master Duel. They did ban Cyberstone. I saw the most recent ban list. I think it's weird. But I guess it makes sense for Konami. But okay, now they're going to make Link Karibo. Pop Lore spell Trap Zone. Okay, that's fine. This isn't game. Unless. Unless. Nah, I don't, I don't even know what they'd have here to make a game. They already went through Black Witch. It's close. Not really. It's somewhat close. We're gonna go ahead and spell Trap Zone, Snake Eye Ash, Snake Eye Ash, and Self Plus Pop Lore, sure. And then go bring out Flame Burge, and now they got Flame Burge, or Wanted, sure, go draw. They have Baron Pop or Flame Burge to spell in Trap Zone. But Baron spell in Trap Zone, I mean, Flame Burge spell in Trap Zone doesn't really do a whole lot. Uh, you probably can still do the Omega setup with Mud Dragon, just way harder in Master Duel. What, Mud Dragon? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, like the Synchro 6 Mud Dragon? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, that'd be infinitely harder, holy. But yeah, that probably is a way to do it. Muddy plus Proxy F Magician. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I'm so out. But, okay, 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 okay. So... This is just... Oh my gosh. I feel like there's just so much time being spent on this. I guess... Why did Matrix even play it like this, though? I don't even know why Matrix played it like this. This just doesn't even make sense to me. This is all we're doing. Better have some... Better have another interruption. 
Otherwise, like, we could have gone and sent, but actually, actually, I don't think that would have worked. I guess you just go Snake Eye Ash, Pop Lord Divine Temple, Make IP Pass, something like that. Because then you have Divine Temple into IP, you have Baron, you have a Hand Trap in hand probably, or like a non-engine card. We're just going to go summon SP. Thinking if we're even using the SP effect and then passing. This is still probably just game though. The opponent's going to have three cards against this. But oh my gosh, bro. I'm not going to lie. Bro, how long are they taking? I'm the head judge here, you know what I mean? I would hate to have to give out a slow play warning. Okay, pass. Activate sleeping memory. Sure. Don't you do it. Don't you dare discard angler. Oh, I wouldn't even matter. <laughs> Never mind, yeah. Discard angler all you want. Discard angler all you want. He already got three beaver in groove. Head judge power. Yeah, being the head judge is wild. I actually hate it. I hate being the head judge. I don't want him to have to be the one that makes the decision. Actually, I had a head judge. It was at the regionals I was at. The head judge did not make the correct decision in my opinion. I literally called the judge for the ruling. Halfway through the ruling, like after I already called for an appeal, I was like, wait, I am wrong. I was like, I'm not right about this ruling. Head judge ruled in my favor. <laughs> Easy dubs. Easy dubs. We take those. We take those. But per Lily effect, the Baron shut it down. GG. So now, okay. Yep, Cerbero is out there. I mean, hey, the opponent's hand was kind of crazy. I cannot lie. The opponent's hand was kind of crazy. Okay, the other top four matches still going. We got Marincess. Oh my gosh. It's, it's like, it's like two hand trap decks. Marincess versus Centurion. I guess to be fair, like every deck right now is pretty much a hand trap deck, right? Like Snake Eye. It's kind of a, kind of a hand trap deck too. But okay, go ahead. Make the Great Bubble Reef. This is game three. Discard, go ahead. Special summon back out. The Coral Triangle. Can we get another body on field? Not true, Dynamorphia is not a hand trap deck. True, that is a trap trap deck. I actually miss that. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of salty that we lost Circular, but not even for Math Mech. I'm salty that we lost it for my Math Mech Dynamorphia deck. That deck was so sick. That deck was so sick. You could Small World in the Therzia. You could Open Therzia. Uh, so, so cool. So cool. Here you go. Oh my gosh. They have Bahamut Shark set up here. Coral Effect Go Search Wave. Because imagine you go Dynamorphia, pay half your life points. Dynamorphia, pay half your life points. You're at 2k, right? And then you go Heat Soul, pay a thousand. Now you're at a thousand. Heat Soul, banish, summon out IP. And now you have IP in the SP. You have Super Factorial. And you got your opponent under skill drain pretty much. And they can't even like beat over the field because you have Rex to protect. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of crazy, but obviously it's not going to work anymore because uh, it's banned. But it was cool. Okay, so we're going to go World C. Banish bring back. Never use Circular with Dynamorphia. Interesting take. Uh, the only problem with the deck is the deck didn't have enough extra deck space, truly. I mean, that's not the only problem with the deck. I shouldn't say that's the only problem with the deck. There, there were definitely other problems with the deck, but that, that was like the big problem with the deck is that the deck didn't have enough extra deck space. It was a cool deck though. Crystal Beast, Math Mech, 07. Said, yeah, extra deck space is kind of tight. Yeah, like Math Mech, the extra deck space was a little bit tight and then you have to throw like four cards in there. So then like, you know, you have to cut a lot of the stuff. But okay, it's gonna go battle phase game. GG, GG. Okay, so I, I'm not gonna lie, Marincess has been cooking this entire tourney. 